that Georgia line was playing as well as anybody. And we know that they've got a stockpile of running backs back there led by Zamir White. Um, and we know Alabama, they they came in top two or three in the nation in rush defense. So that was going to be just a monumental battle up front. But Alabama certainly did more than hold its own. They They shut down pretty much the Georgia rushing attack. And then more and more as the game progressed, they got after Stetson Bennett. I thought the communication, Mark, was at its best all year all year long. That was the most communication for an Alabama defense I've seen to where everybody knew what to do. There were moments this season where a call would get made out on the field and guys would be confused, whether it's Josh Job not knowing what's going on, whether it's guys misaligned, uh, guys not in the right gaps. There was just so much frustration throughout the season in terms of why are we not communicating? Why are guys not lined up correctly? Why is so-and-so not in their gap? We had this happen all year. But against Georgia, something clicked where you saw – linebackers tapping defensive linemen. Hey, you in your gap? Get in there. Cornerbacks making sure you got the call. Okay, let's roll here. Linebackers talking amongst each other. There was one play in particular. I saw Christian Harris run down the line, take on a block, shut it off, and nail Zamir White in the backfield. Have not seen that from Christian Harris all year consistently until that play. And then you go back to the pick six by Jordan Battle, reading it, seeing it, jumping the route, picking it off, going back to the house with it. The communication that DeMarco Helms had out there, he was breaking up on passes. He was helping out on the back end. He created an interception there. And Helms has been playing some of his best ball since the Iron Bowl. Brian Branch went out there reading his keys, playing sound on his end, and just everybody on the same key. That was the main thing. And Alabama fans have been waiting on this all year from this defense is, can we get a game where everybody is on the same key from start to finish? And you saw that. You even saw the confidence in Pete Golding in terms of his play calling, where he was not only getting pressure to Stetson Bennett, uh, Mark, and stopping the run, but the but disguising the coverages. You saw Stetson Bennett kind of feel like, okay, maybe I have this guy here, and then boom, he doesn't see where the safety is actually lurking, ball gets picked off. It was a strong play calling game from Pete Golding's in also. And certainly one of the key plays of the game, even though uh, it was difficult to contain uh, one Brock Bowers, he's one of the best tight ends of the country. He's just hit the scene and just taken off was the the play made on him. I uh, can't remember the DB that cut him off uh, in the red zone to make that pick. That that was that, that was that was uh, that was DeMarco Helms, actually. So on that play. Uh, Brock Bowers has the ball over Daniel Wright, who's in good position. But you know, Brock Bowers is what eight feet tall. But uh, what a job there by Demarco Helms once again coming over the top, finishing that play, getting enough of that ball to knock it away from Bowers. And that young man is going to be uh, a first round pick you know, potentially. I mean, the guy is you know, ten catches for 130 yards was basically uh, the lone weapon out there that Stetson Bennett trusted getting the football too. But DeMarco Hallams, the last two weeks of the season, has really come on at that free, at that, uh, free safety spot. 